in this session we are going to understand about get element by id in our previous session we have created this simple html structure now from here i'm just going to remove this body color we do not want this one to understand about get element by id we have to use javascript so here below this i'm just going to write one comment js and here i will be writing script tag inside this script tag you can see for this id attribute we are having this h3 and also we are having this div this first one and this second one belongs to our get element by id section inside this we have given the id as text and whenever we are using id we can access only one element so to access that first we are going to use our document object without document object we cannot access this methods and these methods are provided by dom api it is not part of javascript once we get access to this methods only then whatever content we are having inside the html that we can easily access it here i will create one variable and i am just going to give my variable as text okay same name i will be giving you can give different name as well to access get element by id first we have to write our document object why i am telling this document as an object previously we have seen the type of this document is object as soon as i write dot you can see i will be getting multiple selectors here i have get animation get element by id get elements by class name i will be having multiple selectors in this we are going to see this get element by id i will click on this this e will be capital this b will be capital and this i will be capital inside this i just want to access my text this is my id text i will copy directly if i just paste this one i will not be getting the result let me just log this log i will be writing my variable save console now in my console you can see i will be getting this error let me just minimize this cannot access text before initialization so what we have to do we have to wrap inside single quotes or double quotes whatever attribute value we are accessing here we have to wrap inside double quotes or single quotes now this is my id attribute value that i am accessing so i have to wrap inside single quotes or double quotes now if i just save this one you can see using this text attribute i am able to access my div container because this id attribute is given inside this div so i am able to access this div container now if i just open this one inside this i am having my text and also inside bold text i am having this text okay whatever content i am having inside this div i am able to access that so using this get element by id this is what it happens now suppose if i just write same thing again save this now again you can see i will be getting only the first result because id attribute has to be unique i cannot give the same value for this one i will not be getting any error and also i will not be getting any result but for classes we can give multiple values with the same name but for id it should be unique now whatever stylings we want we can easily give to our div container this is my variable to give stylings we have to use this dot style dot color let me just give the color as red i will save this now you can see here i am having this style color is equal to red this stylings what i have given that is pasted as internal styling inside my dom and inside my website you can see the content is changed to red color so whatever stylings we want we can easily give that if i want to change the background color 
anything whatever i want i can easily give i will just write here yellow save background color will be changed i can change the font color font size font weight everything everything i can do now get element by id it is just one of the way to access the dom previously this was the only way used to access the dom elements but now we are having multiple ways to access elements inside the dom and also as we have seen it will be taking only one argument that is id of any element which we want to access suppose i am having different ids for different element i can access that but individually one by one i have to access each element but if you want to access only one element and if you want to see the result of that you can easily use get element by id because it is going to take only one argument and for that element you can directly pass id and access that element and this will be returning an element node we have seen when we access get element by id we got our entire element entire div section as a result so this will be returning an element node practically we will see how it is returning an element node i will come here previously we have already seen it will be returning this diff we have already seen it has given me entire diff section and when i tell when i talk about this it will be called as an element so it is returning element node why i am telling node because everything inside html document will be represented as node so this will be treated as element node i will just write here log and inside this i will be writing my variable dot node type as soon as we access this variable we will have lot of properties and methods available inside that so inside that we have this node type i will just click on this i will save now if i get the answer as one which means it will be returning as element node for different values for different result we will have different numbers but for element node it will be returning one el just remember that element l will be treated as one so one will be returning element node just write like this element node just to remember just imagine this is one so one will be returning this element node for each and every result we will have different codes later on we will understand about this codes as well and there is another way to know the return type i will just copy this instead of node type we can write node name i will save this my node name is div you can see it has returned me the div so this is going to return me this tag so this tags this element is nothing but element node so we can easily tell this get element by id will be returning element node next we are going to see few disadvantages of using this get element by id most of the time what happens in our larger website we have to access multiple elements and to access that we cannot give separate ids for each and every element we can give the class if they are having similar properties or similar stylings but we cannot give id attribute for every element it will be time consuming and also it will be difficult to access each and every node inside html so this is what the disadvantages get element id will be having because id is unique each and every time we have to give different value for the id attribute and also we can access only one element using that id value we will be able to access only one element but you do not have to worry there are multiple dom api methods which are provided to us using which we can access multiple elements inside the dom i hope you are clear with get element by id it is very simple method basic method to access only one element we will be using id attribute value to access the element and it will be returning the element node 
नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट गेट एलिमेंट्स बाय क्लास नेम 